from a ladder match to a table match, from a chairs match to a TLC match to a blindfold match to a elimination trimmer match. This is the one, the only, the outstanding and marvellous People's WWE Channel. And from a chain match to a hawker match, from a battle royal match to a bra and panty match, from a street fight match, <coughs> excuse me, to a tag team tournament match, he is the one, the only, none other than your WWE champ, Rick The Rock. So, sh maybe to share this video, tell your friends about Rick The Rock, that's very, very important. Go and view a like, the always entertaining, the always electrifying people's WWE page, Team Ring It, and WWE World Wrestling Network on Facebook. That's right, I am your WWE Champion. I am Rick The Rock. And, as always, you guys know what to do. Very, very important, very, very crucial too. Go and check out all my electrified videos, such as so my PCW videos and my video before this one, so the TLC predictions. Leave your comment below, check out the description below, and never ever hesitate to ask me a question. And me on Facebook, Richard J.P., and follow me on Twitter at Rick the Rock Pay, hashtag Rick the Rock, hashtag WWE. Because this is your big, cool, electrifying and awesome WWE pay-per-view review. So it is the WWE TLC Tables Ladders and Chairs Review. Quite a decent pay per view. Seven matches in total. Um, so we started with the kickoff show in a fresh match in 10 man tag team action. Apollo Crews, American Alpha, and the Hype Bros beat Kurt Hawkins, The Ascension, and the Vard Villains. So much, much needed, much needed win for Apollo Crews here. And it doesn't seem that WWE are doing much with Apollo Crews, Kurt Hawkins, and The Ascension as of late. We then kicked off. With the actual TLC show. First match of the night in a first match in tag team action. The new white family, so the Viper Randy Orton and the East of World Bray Wyatt beat Rhino and Heath Slater on a, your brand new WWE SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Uh, so great win for these here and Bray Wyatt's first ever championship in the WWE. Your next match was... Excuse <coughs> me, I think the first ever women's no DQ match, I could be wrong there, but I don't think I am. And this is a match I did forget in my predictions. It was Nikki Bella taking on Carmella. Uh, quite a good match here. And coming at the wing, Nikki Bella. Personally, I would have had Carmella winning. I think she needs to win more, but okay. Your next match was a ladder match for the Intercontinental Championship. It was the awesome one, The Miz, taking on the show off, Dolph. Ziggler in their final match, in their final chapter. Uh, quite a good match. I'm actually watching TLC at the moment on repeat. Um, and that, the ladder match is actually on right now. But, because I had a, quite a good match, I'm coming up the win and still in Oklahoma champion, The Miz. Uh, so, yes, big win for The Miz here, but I'm not sure we'll be going after the Intercontinental title shot next. We're going to be going after the Intercontinental title next. <coughs> Excuse me. Your next match in a chair match was a Lone Wolf Baron Corbin taking on the high flying Lucha Dragon Kalisto. This was a decent match. Come out the win, Baron Corbin. Uh, so yes, much of going for Baron Corbin here, and and I'm glad he ended the rivalry. Your next match was, I think, the first ever women's singles table match for the WWE. Smackdown Women's Championship. It was the last kick of Becky Lynch taking on Alexa Bliss. Uh, quite a good match. Coming out of the win and your brand new Smackdown Women's Champion, Alexa Bliss. So big, big win. A huge win. A great win. A good win for Alexa Bliss here. 
Uh, but I do think they should have the rematch, not on SmackDown Live, but at the Royal Rumble, it would mean more, and it wouldn't really take much of a build. <clears throat> and then your main event was a TLC tables, ladders, and chairs match for the WWE World Championship. It was a lunatic fringe, Dean Ambrose, taking on the phenomenal one, AJ Styles. This was quite a good match. Um, but it did end with James Ellsworth coming out. Uh, AJ Styles going after James Ellsworth. Dean Ambrose climbing the ladder for the WWE World Championship. But the ladder got tipped over by James Ellsworth. And coming out of the win and still WWE World Champion. The phenomenal one, AJ Styles. So a great year, an incredible year for AJ Styles. It looks like it is to be AJ Styles taking on The Undertaker at the Royal Rumble for the WWE World Championship. Um, now, why did James Ellsworth do that as he turned heel? Or is it that Dean Ambrose, it looks like that Dean Ambrose doesn't care about James Ellsworth because when J AJ Styles attacked James, Dean just went after AJ Styles and then went after the the title rather than see now James Ellsworth was so is that why he did it who knows uh, or has it been a plan all along with AJ Styles and James Ellsworth but it was a decent pay-per-view but I do think it should be the last ever TLC pay-per-view either bring an old one back or make up a new one but I do give it six Poontan pies out of ten as always make sure to like and subscribe for the people shout out I will be doing a Raw review, Smackdown Live review, NXT review, and 205 Live review. Get checking all of those out. Get checking out my videos before this one, such as my PTW videos and my TLC predictions. I um, hope you enjoy TLC. Let me know in the comments below what you thought. Help my channel grow. Support my channel. Thanks for watching, guys. I do this for you. If you smell what the rock is cooking.